What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here, and uh, we I showed a video yesterday that showed you guys how to use NEI uh, on the prison server, and a lot of you guys really liked the idea of that because, you know, obviously having the ability to instantaneously uh, combine just the sheer amount of blocks that you have on the server uh, is, is very helpful. It's one of those things that literally will save you hours if you plan on playing on... Uh, the prison server long term now the problem with it is because we're not using a mod pack or something along those lines um if you're not really computer savvy or if you know you've never messed with mods before or things along those lines this is kind of a pain in the ass uh and it's it's not too hard it's pretty easy uh this video is going to show you start to finish how to do it uh but it's it's kind of a bitch so um i'm going to walk you through step by step and uh this is how i did it and this will this will basically get you pretty much where you need to be. So first off, you're gonna need three files. Uh, you're gonna need Forge first. Now I'm gonna put the link to this thread right here. You can see it up here. Uh, it should be in 1080p, so you guys should be able to read it. Uh, but I will I will leave the link to this thread here. Um, and you can just click it in the video description if you don't wanna copy all that down and I don't blame you. So what you're looking for here is you're gonna see there's a ton of different stuff here. Now obviously this is for Minecraft 1.72. Um, there's versions for 1.710, uh, there will be versions for 1.8 eventually, um, and if you're watching this video six months, nine months, or even next week, we may be on different versions of Minecraft. So you just change the version of Minecraft accordingly, it's pretty easy. But for this video, I'm going to be using 1.72 on the server. Um, you can do 1.10 if you want to mess with that, whatever you prefer. What you're looking for is the Windows installer. Uh, the Windows installer is pretty much the easiest way to do it. Now, if you're on a Mac or Linux or something along those lines, um, you're kind of on your own because I don't have either of those. And uh, it's just going to be kind of difficult for me to walk you through it. So uh, grab the Windows installer file. It's going to look like this right here. And then once you get this thing, you know, you go to your downloads directory or wherever you downloaded it and you just simply double click it. And that's going to walk you through uh, a pretty basic process to install Forge. Um, it's and Forge is basically where all of these mods are utilized and what they're all what, what they all do. So you, you need Forge. So once you have Forge uh, downloaded and you've double clicked it and you've followed the directions, uh, and here I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. When you start up the new Minecraft launcher, you're going to see you know all of this BS, uh, and then right here you're going to see your profiles, your profiles. And uh, you know I've got one for Optifine, I've got one that's that's vanilla, and then you've got Forge. Forge is the one that's it's going to create. And if you click on Edit Profile, you're going to come in here and you're going to see use the late, use version release 1.72 Forge. 1.72 is the version of Minecraft. So we're going to leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and start that up so we can start loading. And uh, now I'm going to show you the other two files. So the other two files that you're going to want, uh, you can just go and type Minecraft NEI. You pull this into the search, it's going to pull up. And the first link right up here, uh, pretty easy to find. And then you want to click on Downloads and Installations, and that's going to bring you to this, this area right here. Now, you've got to be careful with this because uh, NEI actually requires two files. Uh, it requires Code Chicken Core, and it requires not enough items. If you only get not enough items, then every time you click play with Minecraft, it's just going to burp and not do anything. And you're going to be like, WTF mate, what the hell? And it's going to drive you nuts. So right here, this is, this is basically all of the Chicken Bones mods. Uh, this is the recommended, this is the latest. Recommended is the ones that usually are considered stable. They function and they don't have a problem. Latest is the kind that's cutting edge and may have bugs. You usually wanna go with recommended. Now, what you wanna do is remember when we were talking about the versions of Minecraft, we're using 1.72. So you wanna click 1.72 and that's going to change the versions. And if we, we go back to 1.10, you can see the numbers change. So we're going to do 1.72. And then you're going to download Code Chicken Core and Not Enough Items. Both of those for the universal. Don't do dev, don't do SRC, do the universal link. Once you get that installed, you're going to want to go ahead and fire up Minecraft. Now Minecraft's going to just have Forge right now. So right now you're going to see I have five mods. You're probably going to have three. You're going to probably only have three. So once this is open, click on Options, click on Resource Packs, click, in, click Open a Resource Pack Folder. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up a folder most likely like this, and unless you have Texture Packs, which you've already installed, it's going to be blank. You're going to want to click on Minecraft. Then you're going to want to click on Mods. And then uh, you will not have these two here. They're going to probably be over here in your download directory like this. 
you just drag them from here over to here. Don't put forage in there. So you need code chicken, uh, code chicken core and not enough items. And make sure both of those are the same version for the version of Minecraft. So if you're running 1.72 and you've got 1.710, or you're running 1.72 and you've got 1.65, it's not gonna work. So make sure you've got the same version. And like I said, that's pretty easy to do. Just make sure you select the drop down here. Uh, you can also click on not enough items here and see all the versions and do code chicken chunks here and see all the versions there. Um, you, you really don't need to do that, but if for whatever reason you feel the need. Once you've got that running, um, you'll, your Minecraft will look like this. It should say you have five mods loaded. You can click on mods and you can see you've got the forge, the forge mod loader, uh, you've got chicken core, and then you've got not enough items. And then from there, it's pretty easy. You just click on multiplayer and you type in your server and you're good to go. Now you are going to notice there's a V that's going to be next to the servers now. When you see this V, all that V means is it's a vanilla server. It's a vanilla server. It's a server that, uh, you know, is, is, is not running mods. Now, what that basically means is you are running modified Minecraft, but the server isn't. So we're going to go ahead and go home to sell. And what this gives you access to is basically NEI over here. One other thing I want to show you guys, for those of y'all who uh, may not be familiar with NEI, uh, once you've got this open, open up a crafting window. And you go to the thing you want to combine, and you press U as an umbrella, and that's going to show you the shaped crafting. These are all the recipes that emeralds can be turned into. Since we're playing vanilla, there's really only one recipe. With diamonds, obviously, you're going to get a few more, but you just find the block, and you go to the question mark. Now, most people are just going to left-click the question mark, and all that does is fill the window. We don't want to do that, because we don't want to have to drag it. Hold Shift, and then left-click. And that will take all of the emeralds in your inventory and it'll drop them in up there. And that'll easily allow you to combine everything with one click. And it makes it a hell of a lot easier. So this right here is uh, one, of the, one of the mods I, I highly recommend. Obviously, you know, it's, it's your life. You can, you can do it how you want to do it. Um, but I, I definitely recommend this. Um, it's just a, it's a client side mod. It takes you about two minutes to install. It's not gonna mess up your Minecraft. And you know, if for whatever reason, it doesn't work for you or, or you don't like it or whatever just relaunch minecraft like this you can delete the profile if you want or you can just change you know you can go back to your optifine profile if you've got one you can go back to your normal profile if you want one uh you can do whatever and it's that easy to fix it's that easy to fix and i, I think you can even delete it well actually i have no idea how to delete a profile so maybe over here in the profile editor yeah if you want to delete one here you just go here and delete profile just right click and delete so that'll get it out of your list and you won't have to worry about it so this my friends is how you add nei to and forge to vanilla minecraft uh, this will get you set up i'll have all of these links up here that i was showing you in the video description just open up all three of them or all two of them whatever follow the directions and you should be good to go if you guys have any questions problems or concerns feel free to leave them in the comment section below if you found this video helpful useful or an assistance please slap that like button make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next clip